Hi guys and welcome back. So if you're anything like me, you don't just do the same kind of projects and films and videos all the time. I do tons of different things, not just color grading, but I also finish out a lot of videos. And sometimes I just need to spice things up. So I have a toolbox of things I like to use, but I'm constantly on the lookout for new things of high quality at a good price. And today I have something exactly like that for you. So if you go to visualvfx.com, you'll find an overview of all their products, all their transitions, LUTs, light leaks, and sound effects. Everything is very easy to integrate and get into DaVinci Resolve. And once you get it in, there's tons of way you can correct things or change things to your liking. You can buy the transitions and LUTs and light leaks and everything as bundles, or you can buy them separately. But right now they have a great offer for an all-in-one bundle that includes everything for 99 US dollars. And if you look at the description of this video, you'll find a promo code that'll give you a 10% discount on top of that. Now, full disclosure here, Visual VFX did send me an all-in-one bundle for me to try out. It came with no terms and conditions. So everything you hear about these products here on this video is my own opinion. But let me show you how you can use these effects and transitions to make something like this. Okay, so once you downloaded your bundles and you installed everything, and that's a pretty straightforward process, and there are some really nice guidelines on how to do that. So that's pretty simple, so we're not gonna go into that. But what I did here in my media pool, I made a smart bin for my burn transitions, for my light leaks, and then down here in my effects uh, library, if you click the search button and search for TR, let me just type TR, then you'll get all the transitions in a long list down here. So let's start with the first clip here and I wanna add a burn transition. So I'm gonna take this one and drag it onto my video layer above and then let me zoom in a little bit and find the brightest spot and that's something like that. And I like to bring, I'll mark it with a marker so I know where it is and then maybe bring that in a little bit. And what you do now is you change the composite mode. You can choose add or you can choose screen. So for this one, I'm going to choose screen and I'm gonna change the opacity and bring it down to something like that, 4850. And if you play that through, that's, that's pretty quick. So you can go back in your inspector with the burn um, selected and you can change the speed. So let's change that to 20 and maybe bring it out a little bit more like so and then you have something like that. And you can tweak it as much as you want, you want, obviously. Moving on to the next one. So here we have a transition we wanna add. So let's do the transition or the rotation left and bring it on here. And if you're new to transition, they work by taking the last clips outside of the clips after the edit point from the first frame and uh, from the first clip and they take the frames from the second clip before the edit point and blend them together. So you need to have frames here on the left and you need to have on this one frames on the right. If you don't have that, then there's nothing for the transition to work with. So then you won't be able to place it in between the edit point like so. Once you have the, edit, uh, the transition selected, you can go up to your inspector and you can change the length or you can write it down manually up here in the control or input box or you can drag it down here as well to your liking. Play that through and you have a transition there. Let's move on to the next one and go to the media pool and burn transition and let's add, let's add this one. This is a bluish one, it's really cool for this. So again, I'm going to play through it and find the brightest spot there, put a marker, bring it in. And when you have snap tool enabled, the marker will snap to the edit point. 
again change the composite mode I'm gonna change it to screen and I'll leave the speed at 100 and maybe bring the opacity down to something like that and play that through so one more time let's play a big a large screen here oops yeah that's pretty cool okay next edit point here gonna do another transition here let's go for a spin so target spin and let's bring this spin into the transition here and let's play that through yeah that's nice i'm just gonna leave that as is and here between these two girls let's bring back some light leaks let's take this one has some nice warm tones to it so that's a pretty long one so again find the bright point put a marker bring it in and then line it up with your edit point and you can even fade in by dragging the, the handles like so and fade out and change the composite mode this time I'm going to use add and I'm going to bring the opacity down something like this So you have this effect, that's pretty neat. Let's play that one more time. That's pretty nice and organic. Okay, moving on to the next edit point. Again, a target um, transition. I'm gonna use a target zoom. So I'm gonna search up here, target, zoom, hit. out hit dash out this one i'm going to bring that onto my edit point and let's leave that at one second and this one is one of the cases where it just needs to render out a little bit before you can watch it in real time so let's just have it finish the render here and then press play and then we can watch it like that so yeah if it's too fast again drag the points drag the transition points to your liking uh, moving on to this one this clip between the girl here so i'm going to use a TR split and let's try the three stripes horizontal drag that on and leave it at one second yeah that's pretty nice so that has this cool effect that you can use and you can combine that so you can take a burn transition and put on top again Find the bright spot, mark it. That's right on point there. Change the composite mode of the burn. I'll change this to screen. I'll bring the opacity down a little bit, like so. And maybe slow it down quite a bit. So let's take one third. And then you have an effect with the transition plus a burn transition on top something like that so you can combine everything as you want and you can have great results there's tons of options and lots of stuff you can do with this this is going to open up a lot of possibilities for you when you start editing your videos so i hope you enjoyed this if you did please consider subscribing if you have any comments please let us know below and happy to see you again soon and take care have a great day and happy grading